Hello everybody, welcome back to Studio Azure. So today we'll be doing one of our first few AM5 builds and here's all our things today. Let me show it to you one by one. So the processor, the main starring of this would be the Ryzen 7 7700X uh, running based on the AM5 platform of course. So the nifty thing of it of course is that it's using the new 5 nanometer uh, processing node architecture as well as having a base clock speed of 4.5 gigahertz and can turbo up to 5.4 gigahertz which is very high so here's the processor next up is the motherboard so this is the MSI X670 or MSI Pro X670-P Wi-Fi so Here's how the board looks like. So, uh, despite being just an ATX board, uh, it actually quite packs quite a lot of features. Um, that's very nice to see and would be very beneficial to the AM5 platform. So, first off, we have two uh, eight pin, which is four plus four pin CPU power to allow for more overclocking headroom and power and to support the newer Ryzen 9s as well. And of course, other than that, it actually has four M.2 slot, which is a lot for an ATX board. So we have a uh, PCIe Gen 5 and VME here and three more Gen 4 so one two and three so one, two three this is one of the faster Gen 3 and VME that we tested as well and it allows for transfer speed of around 3005 read and write which is almost the limit of PCIe Gen 3 as well so if we put it on the PCIe Gen 4 slot of this motherboard we'll be able to fully utilize this and VME as well uh, the RAM Support as well is quite good with it supporting up to 6600 megahertz frequency RAM for DDR5. So uh, it's a very high frequency for RAMs these days. Huh? So these are Kingston Fury Bs. These are 6000 megahertz uh, running at a cast latency of CL36. So right, quite tight timing for DDR5. And of course it supports the new Expo which the board along with this motherboard, both supports as well. So we'll be able to take advantage of that to fully utilize the newer speeds of the Ryzen 7000 series. So other nice things are of course like six SATA slots, USB type C support along with 3.0 support and most other things. Uh. And here's how the IO port looks like. Quite a lot of USB and a few USB type C as well. So two USB type C, uh, the type C on top here actually acts as a display port as well if you want to use it as a display port so instead of just having a normal display port you also have a type c that can be used as the display port and you have a hdmi 2.1 right here so this is the display port hdmi 2.1 which allows you to support 4k 120 hertz with the integrated graphic of the new ryzen series okay so next up of course we have for aesthetic and cooling purposes we have our aio which is our liquid cooler. So this is the MSI Mac Core C240. So comes with RGB, of course, with the fans and the pump both together. So very nice looking AIO. And now to put everything together, we have MSI MPG Velops 100R gaming case. Aesthetically speaking, it's quite a cool casing with the front supporting a 360 and the top also supporting a 360 configuration fan layout as well as having quite a lot of space for you to put a vertical graphic card mount if you want to. Uh, next up, we have the power supply. So this is the MSI MPG A850 GF. So uh, this is 850 watt 80 plus go power supply. It's fully modular as well, and comes backed with a 10 year limited warranty as well. So a very long span for a warranty. Uh, actually, I think it's the one of the longest you can have in power supply, especially if it's for 80 plus go. So. Now next up for the graphic card, we'll be using the AMD Radeon RX 6600. So this is the MSI Mac 2X model and for 1080p gaming, this will be more than enough with its 8GB of GDDR6 RAM and will be running on PCIe Gen 4 as well.
And here's our build of the new Ryzen 7 7700X on the MSI Pro X670-P Wi-Fi. We'll be doing some benchmark on this build as well, so do stick around and watch till the end of the video to see how the 7700X performs. And that's all from us today. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and goodbye.